Good day YouTubers, welcome to another video. In this video I just want to show you a new drift chute that I got. Now everyone's got these little tiny drift chutes you buy for $50 and they're everywhere. But they don't do much good really. My experience has been that they slow you down a tiny little bit and they keep your bait pointed in the same direction. But other than that, they're not doing a lot for you. So I'm one of the drift chutes that's really going to slow me down and keep me over the fish for longer so they've got a better chance of catching them. This is what I got. I'll show you what it's like, demonstrate it, and I'll put a link in the description below if you want to have a look at it for yourself. They are expensive, but they do work a lot better than your normal $50 drift sheet. You may as well throw $50 into the water for all the good they do. Let's get this out and have a look at it. This isn't your toy, this is a big, that's a big brother. Oh, and it does come equipped. What do we got here? That's the main rope. Plenty of that. Plenty of cords onto the parachute. Because this is a big parachute. That'll go onto the cleat. That's great. Love it. And this is our... Oh, yeah, that's our rope to pull it in with. All nicely burnt end. But no, no loop on it. Yeah, I'll just do a quick and nasty leap of just something I can use to hook it on something so I don't lose it overboard. There, yeah, oh, nice material. Little sock at the end. That's where that goes, yep. And, yeah, she's a big one. Give you a good look at it when we deploy it. Not much point in throwing it out in the yard, you won't really get the effect, but uh, once we deploy it at water, you will. A lot of the carry sack too. Okay, it deploys the same as your normal $50 drift sheet. It's got two ropes. The yellow rope is your main rope to the opening of the parachute, and the white rope is the rope to the back of it to pull it back in. The parachute has a 9 foot diameter opening, compare that to the 1 meter diameter on the $50 sheets. So you can see it's going to hold a lot more water and it is going to slow you down a lot more. Just keep in mind though that the way a drift chute works is the same as a parachute. It catches the water and that slows you down. But if the water's also moving, it can't catch the water to slow you down. So what I'm trying to say by that is that if the wind's pushing you along, the drift chute will slow you down, but if there's no wind and the current's pushing you along, then there's no drift chute that's going to do any good for you at all. You can think of it the same as a parachute is caught in a downdraft. Because the wind's moving down, his parachute's not slowing him down as much as it should, so his terminal velocity is going to be what it would normally be in still air, plus whatever speed the downdraft is. That should, that should really slow us down. I'll just keep going a bit. We've got bait on the bottom. There could be some fish feeding in amongst it. We'll drift back over the lot. Anyway, the drift sheet comes pre-rigged and ready to throw out. As I said, the yellow rope's your main rope. The white rope's for pulling it back in. The yellow rope had a leaf on it already. I put a leaf in the white rope. So despite its size, all you need to do is to throw it out as you would the $50 sheet. And it will just deploy itself. The only thing I would say about it though is that it has more ropes on it because it's such a large diameter. There's more ropes than your normal small $50 sheet which normally has about four ropes on the cone. So just be sure you don't get the ropes tangled by pulling the parachute in between the ropes or something silly like that. As long as the ropes aren't tangled, it'll just deploy automatically. And when you get home at the end of the day, or the next day if you come home at night, give you drag sheet, a uh, sea anchor, whatever you want to call it, a good wash with fresh water and hang it up on the clothesline or somewhere else to dry out before you pack it away again. That'll keep it in good condition for a long time. Anyway, that's it. That's my review on it. I think it's worth it. If I go offshore and the current's running too strong for my spot lock to work, which is pretty much anything above two knots now, I've got extra weight on the boat. I used to go nearly three knots when I first got the boat. 
thought about is all sorts of things to it since then. Extra weight sits at lower in the water, extra transducers, more drag. So a little bit over two knots and the spot knot can't handle it anymore. So I need something for drifting and this is what I came up with. It is expensive but it's a lot cheaper than buying a Minn Kota or similar and it does slow you down a lot. As I said, if it's not current that's pushing you, it'll slow you right down. And that's a good thing. It keeps you in the strike zone for longer. Anyway, that's my review on the drift sheet. Uh, thank you for watching it. I hope it's helped you make a decision on whether it's something that you would like to use on your boat. Until next time, good fishing.